Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Brian. And I'm Kylie. And uh, if this is your first time, please click that bell, click that subscription. Uh, make sure you get notifications when we post up new content. It is International Sloth Day. Woo! One of our favorite days, of course. Probably Brian's favorite day. We love our sloths. And we're going to tell you all about sloths to celebrate International Sloth Day today. Here we go. So we are in our sloth building with Luna and Lily in here. This is Lily above me. I think Luna is sound asleep in the box. But sloths are one of my most favorite animals in the entire world. There are six different species of sloths. There are four three-toed sloths and two two-toed sloths. And it all has to do with the forelimbs. All sloths have three toes in the back. Two-toed sloths have two toes up front. Three-toed sloths have three toes up front. Now we here at Amazing Animals have Linnaeus two-toed sloths. And what most people don't know is that sloth species actually derive from two totally different animals. So the three-toed sloths all came from one animal and these big two-toed sloths came from Sid, that giant, giant ground sloth from uh, Ice Age. So basically two different animals they've evolved very similarly over thousands of years in the rainforest and now we just kind of classify them all together but technically they are two totally separate species of animal all right so our new guy lorenzo is tucked up sleeping in the corner and this is exactly what sloths spend their entire day doing curled up sleeping all day uh, lorenzo is definitely settling in but he has probably been our slowest sloth to come around We've still been working with him, just building a positive relationship. Um, he's yet to come out and meet any of the tours, but him, Lily, and Luna are all getting along fantastic. And I will say working with sloths definitely makes you patient. So it's just very slow, uh, just like a sloth. So he is curled up. Uh, now tonight we're gonna be having all of the sloths be inside. It's been a little bit chilly. Uh, so right now he's out in the outside exhibit, but we're gonna be getting down to the 50s, which is gonna be a little too cold for sloths to be at. Uh, in fact, we have the heaters on already right now, but we're definitely hitting that fall weather. Um, we have been feeding the sloths in our indoor building, so hopefully by tonight, Lorenzo's going to wake up. Uh, he usually, again, sleeps all day, but he'll wake up tonight, know that food's inside, and hopefully come right into the building, and we'll get them all tucked in for a cooler night. This is Lily, Lima's mom, and I absolutely love her. She's one of the coolest sloths I've ever been to work with. She is super personable, and a lot of you have actually met her on your tours here at Amazing Animals. And she's hanging upside down right now on one of these perches. And sloths are uniquely built for an entire life of living way up in the trees, up in the canopy of the rainforest, and upside down. So what we look at as upside down, she's looking at as right side up. Even her internal organs are flipped so that she doesn't put any pressure on like her heart or her stomach or her gut or her liver or her lungs. So everything she does is upside down. Even her vision is inverted and everything's super slow. Sloths move really slow to conserve their energy. They don't get a lot of protein in their diet. A lot of what they eat is leafy greens. So unfortunately they don't get a lot of energy from the food that they eat. But don't be fooled, a sloth can move fast and they're very strong if they need to, but they choose to spend their time hanging out and sleeping about 15 hours a day versus sprinting up in the treetops. So we, of course, have Lima hanging out with us for International Sloth Day. And uh, don't forget, on Sunday, we are doing sloth yoga with Lima. Uh, we still have some tickets available, so check those out online. Uh, it's going to be a really beautiful day. We'll have everybody set out in the middle of our yard. We have Firefly Yoga coming to do our yoga for an hour. And we'll also have plenty of time for people to walk around, check out the preserve. And 
uh, you'll get to do some yoga poses with Lima. I'll be walking him around for people to get pictures while you're doing yoga because Sloss, we definitely, I mean, when you think of yoga, they definitely know how to do some yoga. So we're very excited for Sloth Yoga coming up on Sunday. Sloths, anteaters, and armadillos are all related. They're actually part of the Exarctid family. And that's because they have little space in their vertebrae which allows them to curl up into a complete ball. They have all adapted very similarly to the same habitat over thousands of years. And we classify them all together in the same Exarctid family. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. We really hope you enjoyed it. International Sloth Day, a really cool day to bring awareness to the amazing animals that we all know and love from the rainforest. Um, it's super important to do your job at home. Um, things like being uh, more conscious about the products that you buy, mainly in the grocery store. Um, unfortunately, a lot of things that we buy in the grocery store comes from the rainforest land. They're chopping down the rainforest and putting up orange groves, avocados, chocolates, coffees, even cattle. Um, so please read your labels, buy local. The more you can buy local, the better you can accidentally not destroy his home. Yes, so we love that Sloth Day is our chance to bring awareness and for all of our guests that get to come and meet our sloths, we really hope that people go away wanting to do a better job. Uh, Lima has been an amazing ambassador for us. He was born with us two years ago. He literally fit in my hand. He is definitely a big boy now, probably about 15 pounds. And that was probably my favorite day we've had yet here at the preserve is just getting to watch Lima be born. Most definitely. And grow up and just turn into the amazing cloth he is now today with us. Yeah. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the support. Uh, lots of people sending donations, helping us out. Um, we really appreciate it. And we got some big new plans and projects. Hopefully come in this winter um, to expand some habitats and rebuild some. So uh, thank you for the love. Thank you for the support. As always, go out there, do, do something, something amazing. amazing.